Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is role? Now, role is pretty much a self-explanatory for any organization, for any, any business is typically um, there will be any company has a role hierarchy starting from let's say CEO, CFO, uh, you know, directors, managers like that. I mean every company has their own uh, um, organization chart. But in Salesforce, uh, you know, it, it typically meant for record sharing, nothing else more than that, right? Uh, it's nothing uh, like actually, okay, I am a CFO, so I can do hundred of things in Salesforce. It's not like that, that you are on the top of the role hierarchy. Of course, you have to have that things through the permission sets and, and the profiles, right, access. But record level access, yes, if you are on the above the role hierarchy, so because of that, all the beneath your role hierarchy, all your juniors, whatever record access they have, you will automatically inherit that. So in Salesforce, this hierarchy is, is, is typically for the record sharings. It's nothing actually what the way organization is running. So sometimes I will say what happens is, you know, when you are going and asking, hey, uh, can you give us the role hierarchy? You know, uh, the companies have, some companies have very complex role hierarchies, right? So they will just bump up the, the hey, this is my role hierarchy. Go and create it in Salesforce. But uh, as a best practice, you have to basically, uh, but yes, it will require a lot of time to discuss with them, but typically what you have to figure it out, does this role hierarchy really, this is the how they want to control the record sharing. Suppose, um, let's say there is a, a sales manager, there is a regional manager, for an example, and both are, you know, um, uh, are having the same level of record level access. So in, in Salesforce, I may not create two different uh, roles for that. I will have one it, right? So, but it requires a lot of rationalization, right? Okay. A role in Salesforce is controls the record sharing, right? Um, uh, suppose hypothetically that, um, and some companies have, let's say they have a very wider open, everything is, nothing is private and read only, everything is public read, right? In that case, you really need not come and, you know, and unnecessary create roles in sales because that doesn't make any sense. You have already opened it, all the records, sharing access. But if you have it and you want to control the record sharing access through the roles, so here you will just type it under the users. You will see uh, the roles. Just go and click that. And... Um, uh, this will, I mean, you will have uh, a different difference. So when you will use the territory management, then you, you need to take that product-based samples. I mean, typically, most of the time, we are using this company-size-based samples, which is basically what the way the company is managing uh, their hierarchies. Um, so we can use uh, the same way so that, as I said, we do not have to realign the roles and all those conversations. Uh, uh, unnecessary so here you will just come type the rules and under this uh, you will select the company uh, uh, size based samples and if you do not want this this page always because anytime every time when you click role this page will come so you can simply check this checkbox that next time directly landed me to the uh, to the actual setup role page so i will just check this page do not show this page again and then I will say set up rules. Now by default, what happens is the very top of the uh, uh, role hierarchy, you will have the company name. So organization name, remember on the company information, which I told you, so my company name is FSL. So here at the FSL and under it, uh, you will see, these are all by default roles, which Salesforce created by default, okay? Now, if you do not want it, uh, you will always have an option to either delete it or change or edit or change the name. Um, so if I will just do the expand all, so you can see these are the, you know, bunch of roles are there, which you may say that, hey, doesn't make any sense for, for us. So you can go and, you know, always go and delete it, the role, or you can, you know, um, you know, you can leave it like that also if it is really not creating any problem. 
um, and you can create your own uh, you can start creating a role from here also on the top of the organization right but uh, of course that uh, you know business may you know complain you that hey why these are so many roles we are not using that roles then i can come and start delete i can delete it everything just in one also you do not have to do one by one because moment you delete on the top parent automatically all the beneath the roles the child roles uh, are, are going to delete okay so here i have the hierarchy if you see let's say under ceo ceo i want to create another role i will simply go and say click add role and here i have to and this is something this role is reporting to ceo here for example i am saying cfo um, is another role now when you are creating any role salesforce is asking you two three questions uh, in order to access the uh, um, records because account contact and opportunities have a, a different kind of relationships and the case and that is why for especially for opportunity and case access it keep asking you now in your org if there is no opportunity no case you can ignore this this settings uh, but uh, but if you have the opportunity and case so this is going to you know control the access uh, what you typically want to do so basically it is saying that even though your role will have the access because your subordinate uh, you will inherit the access but what kind of inheritance you want whether you want let's say as a manager i will start editing my subordinate records you want to give that or just a view right so or you can say that user in this role cannot access you will have all the options but only for the opportunity and the case right for the other objects it's not a uh, options right automatically whatever your subordinate has the access automatically i will inherit if i am above your role hierarchy okay so this okay cfo is already there so i'm just saying um, let's say we are talking sales manager right so let me create that okay so once you create the role you will land it to this page where you will start assigning the the uh, roles to the user remember on the user also you can go and assign the roles but if you have to do the mass assignment to a particular role uh, i all i will do this assign user to the role i will have um, you know all the uh, users um, right now right and uh, uh, i can i can you know go and assign uh, the the roles right now um let me find the special let me check if i think if the user will have already role then it will not allow me to do that let me check that but typically here i will find my all the users and i will select uh the users which i want to assign to this particular role and from here also uh, you can you know go and switch it uh, the roles and all thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today